We have Tamala Rich in the house. You know, the coal mining industry and mining communities have been front and center in today's economic, scientific, and political news with projections that up to a third of American jobs could be replaced by robots and technology in the next 15 years. The coal mining industry and what's happened to coal communities might be an interesting case study uh, to think about and still fascinating places to go see uh, as far as coal mines are concerned. You did that? You did the legwork for us? I did the legwork. I've been to two of these four places. Yeah. And let's start in Virginia. Virginia, okay. That's where this region's coal boom really started. Yeah. And so there's an exhibition uh, coal mine right if you if you head up 77, okay. cross the Virginia line. It's in Tazewell, Virginia. There's a here it is. Sure. On the map. So not too far. Not too far. About three uh, hours and 15 minutes okay. to get there. It's an exhibition coal mine. Now this is I took this shot last year when I went to the Stone Heritage Museum in West Virginia. Okay. Um, that's where they have all the like people donated quilts and the funeral home, you know, donated its stuff to the um, Heritage Museum, their payroll records. From, wow. You know, it's just a fascinating little heritage museum that was owned by Henry Ford. Amazing. Back in the day. Yeah. And so, of course, the coal mine story is all about conflicts between labor and sure. the company the, the employer yeah and so that's where I want to tell you about the next great place it just opened in um, it's not far from stone it's in Matewan West Virginia right where right over the line of West Virginia and mm. Kentucky okay the coal mine wars museum just opened in August and Christine when we think about civil unrest and insurrections mm -hmm. after the Civil War we usually think about the civil rights movement sure but the coal mine wars that were was actually a big deal. The, the deadliest. Matter of fact, by presidential order, the army went in mm. and they actually dropped bombs that were left over from World War I trying to quell the insurrection. It's really a, fascinating. a fascinating story. And so yeah. the, the Coal Mine Wars Museum just opened last year. I okay. haven't been there yet. I'll be there That's next week. That's in West week. Virginia. It is in May okay. in May 1, West Virginia. And then finally, also very close, just shoot right up 77 in Beckley, West West Virginia, if you've ever gone up 77 heading toward yep. you know, Ohio, you've seen the signs that say exhibition coal mine, exhibition coal mine. I've been there and yeah. it is also fascinating. You can take a little railroad car um, into the mine itself. It's cool. led. By, it's led oh, look at this. Yeah, it's led by a miner who tells okay. you the history. They'll show you tools that were used, you know, at day one and then as technology progressed, you know, how the tools changed and they'll tell you about the business of coal mining. They also have um, they have a, a coal a, a coal camp that they put buildings together from various coal camps across the state. They put it together in a little village there. Sure, you can go in and see how miners lived and worked and the unionization wow. and wow. the safety equipment. So it's fascinating. Um, you can even there are some places like Norton, um, West Virginia, Wise County, yeah, where you can go online and they have maps of of a coal heritage trail in their county. So they're really starting to promote their heritage. Yeah, and so it's a big part of the heritage and the economy there. Right? That's how people lived and uh, survived right. working in those coal mines. Yeah, yeah. fascinating. And the, the story of recovery is what interests me so much. What sure. are people doing now? It could be sure. a lesson for the rest of us. Really neat part of history. Yeah. Good stuff. Good choices. I'm going to have to make a couple notes about those West Virginia <laughs> ones for sure. Thank you, Tamala. My pleasure. We'll be back after this break. You're watching WBTV News this morning on Bounce.